Um, hello, this is Mateusz Mosicki, uh, X-Men Mix um, on MTGO, and this is round two of the premier uh, modern event. Um, I'm replaying this from a, from a uh, replay because uh, I had some problems while recording this. Uh, so this is quite an interesting match where, where, where I hope to, to show uh, why I'm playing the black one actually, but well, let's let's not go ahead. I kept a very good hand uh, with like a turn to Knight of the Reliquary or Odom Rirade um, if I want to. So I'm actually casting Death Right over Steplings here because I, I really want those guys out if I if I can. Um, so he can be anything at this point. Um, I'm, I'm saving fetch obviously for the steplings and casting uh, a knight here, which well just because it is gonna get bigger. Uh, so he's on either some kind of combo or, or some kind of um, control deck. Uh, we're not worried about neither of those. Um, like. Uh, we're pretty quick for combo, like for twin, and we've got Dominirade if he wants to like flash that something turn free. And um, well, against control we've got Dom, we've got Big Knight, we've got Steplings, which is also very fine. So uh, we we draw another land, which is fine. Uh, we need lands for for Steplings, and we also get a Domri into play, which. We don't, because it, get count it gets countered. Um, okay. Uh, here's sac sacrificing a land, and he he wants to respond to so respond with some, with what looks like electrolyze. Um, you probably just noticed that he can't kill um, the knight of the reliquary here, and he thinks want to uh, what he wants to do. Okay. Yeah, he, he was thinking for a while here, so he just killed uh, the death right. It's fine. Uh, Electrolyze can go a lot worse. For example, killing like two steplings or something. Uh, so I've got a huge steplings right now from that that and uh, so that's like six six. And also Knight of the Reliquary is stacking for quite a lot. Uh, I play the Domri before I play the fetch, because if I don't get a dude, I, I usually want to just shuffle it. Um, especially against a deck like that, where I don't even want burn or another Domri. Because the only thing that is not dude I can get is like um, another Domri, or uh, actually uh, a removal or a land. So I want to shuffle all those, and if I get a dude, I, I don't shuffle anything, because I just get that dude into a hand. So it would be a land, which is good to shuffle, and I get a different shaman. At this point, I've got like an absurd uh, board state, and it doesn't look like he can cast um, um, what's it called, a supreme verdict from that. So I'm I'm pretty safe here, and uh, another knight and a steplings from Domri. So we're getting like a lot. Uh, I, I kinda, I'm kind of not happy with my play here. I should probably just leave the mana, leave the mana for the fried shaman because he couldn't, uh, uh, he couldn't launch his fetch then. Uh, instead, I'm playing the knight, which is kind of bad because uh, if he has like a supreme verdict, then this kind of deck will play supreme verdict, and I'm just in, in, in the trouble. So uh, I actually made a mistake here. I should just leave up the, the shaman activation, uh, but he didn't have anything, so the game is over. Okay, so that was game one, and the sideboarding for this deck is pretty easy, because, uh, well, <coughs> you're, you're just not sideboarding a lot, because you are already prepared to, to, to beat that kind of deck. Uh, I was just siding in uh, two Fandemo Hellkite and like two spell Kites and I was siding out like some removal. Uh, I left burst lightnings in case he's got like an angel or something. Uh, light lightning bolts are not doing anything basically. Oh, th that also kills a colonnade, which is his kill condition. So uh, th that's my that's my side in. 
Um, that's my side out, I, I believe. Um, I don't think I was signing in any of the enchantment or artifact hate. Uh, if I saw like shackles or battle scout, then I might just sign in uh, pride mages. But the big spells are actually pretty fine. So let's get back to game two. Um, sorry for that. Okay, and we are in game two. Right. Uh, so uh, I had what I thought is an insane hand. I had, like uh, a lot of fetch hands to just uh, fuel this up. If he kills that, that m then my Tarmogoyf gets bigger, and the kitchen things is also like pretty insane. But uh, it's gonna get like a little, a little, a little weird. Right. So uh, I'm not. I, I'm thinking that he made a mistake here. Uh, that he didn't uh, bolt it in response to, to the fetch land and then he couldn't. Maybe that was the case, but uh, it, it actually went a lot funnier. Uh, I wanted to play a Tarmogoyf here, but he plays <laughs> the card that has seen the play in this deck like lately, a Shadow of Doubt. So uh, he draws a card and I can't, and, and players, well, so he can't also search libraries this turn. Uh, so I actually, that, that's like a, um, that's like a stifle with a draw a card, uh, in, in, for my first round. So I, I, I didn't get a bonus here and this, and I couldn't play this one either. So 10 to, 10 to, <laughs> same thing happens. He has like a second shadow of that. So, uh, he effectively, uh, like impaired my, my mana base twice uh, this time he doesn't have a shadow of doubt uh, but he has a spell snare so uh, like I said it's, it's getting pretty insane uh, I don't want to don't need to get countered this time especially by mana leak so I'm just uh, running out noble Kirk and the fright shaman <coughs> and he has a thing twice and a bolt so uh, he's a lot of his spells were drawing cards actually, so he's effectively staying on a, on a large number of cards while dealing damage uh, to my to my deck. Uh, so the Blood Moon would uh, end the game, but I just didn't want it to get countered, so I prefer to cast a Domri here actually for some value. And let's see what he's gonna have. And he has a cryptic command, so uh, I'm, I'm left with like only a Kerarg, which I'm gonna attack with. And um, right, another turn, he doesn't play a land, which is not good. It means he's just full on fuel. Um, I'm casting Sphinx here, I think. Yeah, I think. Nah, a, a Knight of the Reliquary. And he has another cryptic command, so uh, it's like. I, <laughs> He's got all this, all these best spells like uh, a Ponza with a draw a card, a counter with a draw a card, and effectively they're just leaving me on nothing on board. I should probably just cast it off of the like um, one of the lands and just attack for one, but th that was like a minor mistake. So I'm, I'm still drawing pretty fine, uh, running out the Knight of the Reliquary, and he just double bolts it. Oh, just electrorize and bolts it. And again, he's got a, a, a spell that draws him a card. So even though he's uh, killing my staff, or, like countering it every turn, he's still staying on a lot of cards in hand. <coughs> and here yeah, I actually... Yeah, I think I, I'm stunning those two. And he's got another cryptic command. That's a third cryptic command, which is pretty insane. Uh, at this point, I'm realizing I'm probably dead, but I'm just finishing it off. And time ago, it gets a spell snare. So, uh, there's a lot of, like, insanity here. Alright, so, uh, well, that's, that, that's just my last chance that he does, like, have only, um... I think I'm actually not playing out. Yeah, I'm not playing out this Blood Moon, uh, hoping he's gonna tap out for the, for the attack of Colonnade next turn. And he just casts at the ferry at which point I just I just um, scoop. Oh, I also uh, in last turn I hoped he's gonna block with the celestial colonnade when I when I attack with noble Kerarg. that he's just gonna think I'm an idiot and uh, I just attack into his colonnade. But uh, he he had at the ferry and he just didn't do it. So uh, at this point I think I scoop. I can't beat all that. All right. So um, that was some some insanity from him. 
and game three. Uh, okay, uh, I, I keep a very aggressive hand, uh, which which hopefully will will put a lot of pressure uh, with time of goes and the knight. So I want I want the knight as quick as possible. So just run it out. Uh, sure, it can get bolted, but if it doesn't, then I just get like a, a huge guy, and it got bolted. Mm, so now that the right summon is in the awkward position where I can't actually use him if I don't draw a fetch hand, and I didn't, so I have to just run Tarmogoyfs, and uh, the, the counter festival just just starts. So okay, uh, I did draw a blood moon. And I, I, I'm all set on, on just uh, running out this blood moon right now, because uh, it, it shuts down his deck completely. Uh, Tarmogoyf, I think twice from his side, and he plays that untapped. I thought he might have like a Supreme Verdict, that's not the case. So, I, I have to keep attacking. I don't know why I didn't. I, I didn't attack for uh, with Defrage Summon for like two or three turns here. Ah, that was an obvious mistake. Um, I don't know why why I didn't attack with it. Okay, so uh, I'm running out the cards that uh, if get killed, then it, they get some value at least. So we had a cryptic command again, and just uh, uh, got back the Tarmogoyf into my hand. I'm I'm still not very worried because if I can just play a Knight of the Reliquary, uh, sorry, uh, if I can just play a Blood Moon, he never wins this game. Even if I just have to kill him with a Defrage Shaman. So, um, I've got a Knight. And he's got a Think twice. And he's got an Electro Eyes. Uh, okay, that's fine. So, I hope this get, gets countered and then I can just play out a Blood Moon. It didn't. Um, but I thought that if at this point he electrolyzed my knight last turn so that didn't get bigger and he didn't counter the Tarmogoyf with me having no with me having no mana to pay for it I'm thinking he uh, he actually uh, doesn't have a counter so I play a Verdant Catacombs I even launch it for this to be a 3-4 so now he can't bolt it and well, um, I play the Blood Moon just because it wins the game. And uh, if he untaps, I'm 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 so much uh, losing like a cryptic command, or a lot of other stuff. So I'm just running it out. If if it sticks, I win. If if it doesn't, then I'm, I'm probably in deep, deep trouble. So uh, it does stick. He only has a bolt. Uh, at this point, it's just a, a, a it's just finishing him off. Uh, even if he draws like one of his lands, um, I'm still pretty fine. So I'm just running out my guys, especially as the bolt immune, uh, the Finxes. This version of the deck is very good against all those uh, blue-eyed red controls. So uh, another Finx here, I, I believe. Yeah. And uh, the, the points of damage I missed with the Fight Shaman are actually meaning something here. I should actually run it. Um, Uh, should I should actually attack with it. So uh, he, he's on 10 to clock right now. And I believe he's going to be over soon. Yeah. So uh, I, I won round 2 this way into a 1-1 one, one into this, in this event. And then grinding for, for the win. Uh, thanks for watching.